What is up, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another FS19 video. Ooh, taking that off a little jump there. Um, in today's video, we are back here on our Ravenport map, and we're just gonna get right back to work. Uh, it's been a few days since I have been on this map, um, but last thing we did, if I remember correctly, was we were doing uh, funky stuff with our horses. We were getting, we were buying no, more horses, and we were uh, adding oats and everything to them. Uh, I finished. Let me show you this really quick it on the map actually you'll see it way better okay so right now i am planting barley on this side i'm just switching out tractors really quick because i need one with the front hydraulic um but right here i got oats planted just for the horses so this little half of field 17 is going to be oats uh, explicitly and then the rest of this is just going to be barley because we need more uh straw and i'm going to get a hayloft to store it all in either that or i'll bail it since this isn't seasons we shouldn't lose it um and i'll be able to pick up bales by hand with my super strength mod on um, but that's what I think I'm gonna do for that. Let me grab this. This doesn't have a front hydraulic on it. That's why I switched it out. And now I remember. But which one is which? Is this the smaller one? Oh, it is the smaller one. 8R and the 6M. All right. Well, I'm gonna say the 6M over here can pull our planter um, because I need the front hydraulic, and I don't want to use the Valtra. So let me get over here really quick and get this guy hopped on. Uh, what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to be cutting some grass. Um, I might have to go buy another plot of land somewhere. Um, or I'll just try and scrounge up all the grass areas around us and see how far that'll get us. Get this guy hooked in. Get a worker down. See how well the worker will go really quick. Just sit here and watch her. Okay, so it looks like she is struggling. All right, we're gonna have to bite the bullet then because we need this planted. Um, I'm just gonna go grab the ADR, put the ADR back on there. We're just gonna use the Valtra instead to cut grass. I can use this one for uh, for the loading wagon, but not for this, I guess. And then one of the things I did, because as a lot of you guys may know, this field is really messed up right here. There's this lip. Um, so when you try and throw a worker on it, the worker will have a hard time. The machine will get stuck or something like that. I have no idea why they made the map like this. In my opinion, it was just a really bad, bad choice. All right, so I'm back over. But what I did was I went there with a roller and I rolled out. Let me show you. I'll show you guys back if you didn't see that. I rolled out uh, like one roller's length out on this. So they'll start turning sooner and it'll make it so they don't get stuck nearly as easily. I mean... It's just that little spot there, but I did it to this entire edge just because I was tired of it. And because this field goes pretty much to the edge and it's super inclined. So, I don't know. There's just a lot of issues with that stuff. If you guys have not seen that so far. Now you know. But good news is, guys, Giants is going to be releasing a, uh, like a map editor type thing. Uh, not like a map editor like application or anything but uh you'll be able to throw this mod in and be able to edit your maps trains uh remove bushes what else was it um adjust like depths and stuff like this so all of this like this little bump right here i could all smooth this down which would be super nice um and then you can mess with a bunch of other stuff which is ideally what i really want because it's absolutely terrible sometimes uh especially like right here when I placed this horse paddock, I didn't drop it as low as I should have. But even with me dropping it as high as I did, it still chunked this land out. Uh, right here, this whole area. It's like a... It's just crazy through here. And then this goes up. And then this one goes down right here. Even worse. Um, but yeah, because there's not that much flat land on this map for some reason. But... Anyways. I'm just checking up on the fields. One, two, three. Seeing how that was up over there. Because we have that on another map. But that map is edited. Um, but I didn't want to switch maps. All right. Anyways, enough talking. Let me grab this. Actually, we're just going to take the 6M and return something real quick. Well, here, let me... 6M. Reset. Thank you. Garage. Least items. We're going to get rid of this one. Yep. There we go. Ooh, and we'll have to make another trip back here to pick up the loading wagon, too. I'll be fine, though. I'll just use the truck for that. 
I'm sure the truck will be fine to pull it. There we go. We got her hooked up. All right, I will drive this back, and I'll see you guys back at the farm. Alrighty, I'm going to start back right here, actually. Let me check what our land situation looks like. So we're basically going to be cutting all along this area here, around basically the whole edges of field 16 and 17. And what we're going to do really quick is just uh, hop the train tracks. Hopefully no train comes by. There we go. Ooh, this thing does not have that much power in it. I'm definitely going to be trying to get an 8RT here soon, everybody. Just because it's gonna, it's really needed for us. Just because we don't have too powerful of tractors. Yep, I know we don't have access, but we do have access to this land. There we go. I don't think you can mow bush. Yeah, you can't mow the bushes down as far as I'm concerned. I'll see if you can. Let me just finish collecting all of these. Nope, bush does not get mowed down. All right, but yeah, I know we're gonna make just a line around the entire outside of this, not a line, but a horseshoe pattern. Uh, we're gonna go around the entire outside of this. Maybe we should have brought in the small front one. Maybe this one's a little bit overkill. We probably need to go buy one of the smaller fields down there and just use that exclusively for grass. But for now, we'll just do this because we don't have the money. Next episode, though, we might. I might go get some money. Yeah, we are missing a lot, which kind of sucks. All right, here, we'll finish this, and then we'll turn it back around, and we'll try and get anything that we miss. The issue is, though, is we were... Oh, yeah, we've been driving over this a lot, so... There we go. Yeah, we've been driving over this a lot, so a lot of the grass has been pushed down, and the day hasn't... I haven't progressed the day yet, um, just because the horses, because I need to tend to them a little bit more. Um, but a lot of this grass has been smashed down. None of this is going to cut, really? What? Yeah, this little bit right here will. But other than that, okay, yeah. Ooh, this is not good for us. We need, we need more. We need a method for more grass. Mainly because, let me show you guys, we're turning all that grass into hay. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think what we should do. Do we have anybody else out there have grass right now as a... Okay, there's grass everywhere. <laughs> so this field right, or this area right here, looks pretty solid for grass. Let's uh, let's go check that area out really quick because if that is the case then we'll just purchase this land right here And just use that whole uh, front area for grass. Who are we riding earlier? No, we don't want to ride him There you go. We're hopping on Romeo Ooh, Romeo is riding that there. All right, okay. Maybe this is not that good of a spot actually now that I'm looking at it It's very hilly Although this area out here, if we just were to, well, let's see, if we were to just do one of these, let me check out, let me check this out, we can go some good old, a good old husky. Ooh, we can totally do it. All right, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to go take out a bank loan really quick. Sorry, I don't mean to be running on my horse with the chainsaw. We're going to take out a bank loan really quick and then we're going to buy this land chop down these trees and use it for grass i think that sounds really good all right so give me a second guys i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab the bank loan out i'll be right back all right everybody i got the bank loan and while i was in town i went and i picked up our loading wagon also um so i just purchased the land and oh nope what am i doing i need this drop it down Is that... nope yep we need to drop down all right there we go we're going to use our PJ trailer here, and we're going to load it up with all of the logs we're going to use because it does have straps on it. Let me back it up. Now, we're going to load this up with all the logs and go sell them. Let me double check what the sawmill's at. Where is that at? Far left. Oh, yeah. We'll go sell them when we uh, need to. 
Oh, but we're gonna do all this work by hand because there's no need for us to chop down a few literally looking like twigs um, and have to worry about trying to uh, like completely redo everything. There we go. This guy was not. There we go. All right. Oh, actually, okay. We're gonna try and cut as low to the base as we possibly can, mainly because I don't want to go get a stump cutter. What's this guy doing? No timber. There we go. Now he's down. These should be really easy to do though, because it's just small little itty bitty trees. Rock by, do this. Look at that. Already done. Oh, we gotta pick it up. And then we'll just drop it down right here on the trailer. And when it's on the trailer, you can do a little bit more cutting too. And there you go, that's all we gotta do. Um, we're gonna do this a couple more times. Probably do a few and then I'll just time lapse it because there might be a lot more than I think on this property. Oh, I think it's cause I'm cutting them so low. Yeah, they're still in like the ground. Oh, look at that. Chop these up. And then, uh, what I'm thinking about doing for this uh, plot of land, everybody, is other than just using it for grass, um, this area over here, there's a nice little, nice little circle area. Let me show you. This nice little circle area right here. Or down here, maybe even something like that. I don't know yet what I want to do with it. Um, I do know what I'll do with that. But I'm not sure if I want to do it yet. Uh, but what I'm thinking about doing is converting it into some spot for not only grass cutting, but also some shed storage. I got some Midwestern shed uh, placeables from the squad in here. I'll show you to, um, to you guys in a little bit. We use them in the, his uh, uh, latest logging video, I'm pretty sure. Um, so you might be using some of those on this map because the easy sheds thing, I'm not, not a huge fan of actually, just by the way that they cut into the ground. And they're not very good actually. Um, so that's my opinion on the matter. Let me drop this back over here. Ooh, this one was a little bit longer than I thought it was, so we'll probably chop it up again in a minute. Alright, we'll chop this guy up. But yeah, no, this is the first time I've done any sort of remote logging for uh Ravenport. I about to say Estancia Lapacha. No, for Ravenport. This isn't actually logging either. This is me just uh, trying to clear some land so I can have some more spot to lay down some sheds and stuff. And I need grass really bad because we are going to be doing a cow pasture soon, everybody. A cow pasture. Um, I just really like cows way more than horses, actually, now that I think about it. Um, just because of the fact that cows are not nearly as bad on upkeep. Okay, so... The age-old thing is that cows were always way harder in FS17, um, but they're the exact same as they were in FS17 and FS19. Uh, but sheep are not sheep. Horses, you have to ride all the time to get their fitness up um, to make them worth something. But cows just produce milk, and that's it. And I already have like a, a thing for cows, uh, milk trailer. All I need to do is go buy a tether and stuff so I can do some hay. And other than that, though. It'll be pretty easy, which is one of the reasons why I want to go do them, uh, or just start start producing cows. Oh, jeez, this log is a lot heavier than I thought it was. Okay, we'll drop it right here. Nope. That's the trailer. <laughs> and log. There we go. I'm gonna move this guy up on the up on the trailer. Oh no, this is my this might not work too well, but we'll we'll see soon. Probably should have chopped these up into smaller pieces, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Is this guy, that guy won't move. All right. Let's chop a little bit more of this one up. Come on. There we go. And we'll throw this one on there. And then, oh, we missed the branch. It's when those branches clip into the ground, you can't see them. Oh wow, this is gonna make me sick doing that. Oh jeez. Oh uh, yeah, when the branches clip into the ground, it makes them a little bit more difficult. I guess I could miss a few small ones, but that's fine. Chop her down. All right, I'm gonna go through and clear off like some of those, those ones over there, and then some over here. 
I'm just going to time lapse because there's going to be a ton. So I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, we'll clear all those out of the way. There you go. Now I got that working. Uh, we'll clear all those out of the way, and then we'll be good to go. I think that'll be the end of the episode, though, once we hit that point. Um, because it's just a lot of work to try and do. Uh, and hopefully, by the start of... Ooh, he is getting pretty close there. He is basically done with field uh, 16. Uh, but once we finish field 16 and we get 17 going, I'm going to hop on that guy. Uh, and take over just because I'm worried about him accidentally overriding our oats and I don't want him to override the oats um, but once that's done we'll be good so let's drive over and sell some logs I have never sold a single log in FS 19 so far so let me let me just slowly go through here don't want to get that log that I've sticking out there caught I, I chopped up a bunch of them that were sticking out but uh it just some of them are still Still being a pain in my butt. Ooh, I should have just taken that route back there. Okay, it's fine. We'll drive up all the way around here. Yeah, this is a heavy load, though. We are only going 40 miles an hour, and I'm, like, maxing out the truck, and the truck usually hits, like, 95. So we're maxing this out. Granted, we are pulling thousands of pounds worth of 100, no, not 100,000 pounds. Probably pulling a couple, like 10,000 pounds at least worth of uh, logs here. Probably 10,000 10, probably 10,000 pounds, not 100,000 pounds. What am I, what am I saying? This area would have been a good area to start on, actually. There's a big gap over there that you could just place something. Although it is very slanted, so I don't know how that would work. All right, so here we are at the dump point. Uh, let's stroll up. I think this is our cell point over here. Alright, we'll just stroll in here. Let's double check what this says. This will tell us. Oh, you just walk up and you you just hit perform action and it does it. Alright. That took all of the wood off of our thing. We've got nine thousand dollars from that wood. That's uh not too bad actually. That was like ten minutes worth of work. And you got nine thousand dollars worth of wood, not almost almost nine and a half thousand, I think is what it was. That's pretty good because a whole harvest of wheat, um, or one field of wheat is like fourteen thousand, and that takes way longer. That's uh, that's pretty good in my opinion. I really, oh man, logging is definitely makes an absolute ton of money. So I don't know. We might have to check it out soon. Actually, spoiler alert: we are checking it out soon. All right, we're gonna drive this bad boy back on over. Yeah, we'll take the railroad path back, or our normal path. Mhm. Mm yep, here we are. All right, so we're gonna go back up there. We're gonna clear those remaining trees, and then we will start. Uh, I'll try and place down some of the newer stuff. Let me let me set a straight line really quick and show you guys here. Placeables. We have sheds in here it's these ones right through here you guys see all these old barns that type that's what we're doing uh, I'll I'll get them placed down and show you guys so you can see them uh, I'm not gonna just flash them for two seconds and then not show you guys I just gotta get I just gotta drive up here because I'm worried 
if I just set this on autopilot, it'll just crash. Not autopilot, cruise control. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go over here to the other side, that little U-shape I was talking about. Could clear that one tree over there, but I think we don't need to. All right, so actually we don't have to clear too many over here. Just a few. Let's see here. Yeah, I wanna try and cut as low to the ground as we possibly can. Timber! As I just jump on the tree and just fall it the whole way down. Come on. There we go. Get these two last big branches sliced off. Get that small one. I'm just going to pick up this whole mamma jamma. And sit right here. Yeah, see, that's a little bit longer than the length of the whole trailer, so. Definitely not gonna do that. All right, grab this bad boy. Right there, grab the closer to stump. And I think we're gonna, okay, here, let me check out the cookout. I think I might just stick with these. Just cut these ones and call it good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll call it good because none of these other ones are really going to be interfering with anything we're trying to do here. Looks like we got a helicopter in the background. Alright, so we'll park this along the road because it's the only area we have to park pretty much. So now, let me show you guys the designation of how I'm going to lay everything out so you guys know. Um, I could just start like cutting grass and then show you guys while I'm cutting grass, but it's fine. I need to ride Romeo anyways. All right, get him into a good trot. Or no, it's not, it's canter. It's canter, that's what it is. So this area that we are in right now is going to be our grass cutting, um, all the way up to the edge where it starts to climb to that hill there. Um, but we own this entire area, even everything inside of here. So this little area that's broken in here, we own everything in here. This whole little villa and everything is all ours. Uh, I don't really know if we can use this area inside here for anything. Or if it's honestly just kind of a waste of area. Let me, let me, let me gallop around see if I can find anything. See if there's any special easter eggy type stuff around here. I don't think so. Looks like I can get into the courtyard though. Which I might try in a second. Get some rain collection barrels. Just chilling outside here. Oh, and now I'm up in a tree. <laughs> um, Alright, well, let's climb this ladder. Oh, come on. Let me get up there. There we go. Interesting. Look at this. A little garden in here and everything. It's kind of cool. Got some sun, some dead sunflowers. <laughs> some very dead sunflowers. Oh, that's really cool. And got a little jumping dolphin and everything. I didn't know. And I'm assuming this ladder works to get out. I can get up it. Yep. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, let me get a shed place down here really quick, guys. Then we're gonna end it here. Let's see. So, what we got is we got the farm garage. These are all mods. So we got a farm garage, we got an old barn two, old barn one, and then we got these more modern things. This is like a Midwestern type. This is what you would see in like Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, stuff like that. Um, you'd see like these red sheds, tans, these whites. They're all really, really, really big. Um, or you got a Quonset shop, which is a vehicle spot, which we might use actually. But I think we are gonna start out let me check and see how big this farm garage is. You wanted, I wanted to do stuff over here. So let's do a big shed. A big red shed. Oof, this thing's massive. 
Ooh, let's see. Are we going to be able to place it? Collides with an object. Oh, wait a second. We did have placeable right here. All right, and we're going to sink this into the ground as far as we can to make sure it works. I think it's that stump we're colliding with. Oh, I should have cut the stumps. I knew it. All right, we're going to place it here. Did I place that backwards? Oh my gosh. If I place this backwards, I'm going to be mad. Up in the gates. Ooh, look at this. So much storage. I'm so excited. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, good. So we still got gates over here. This one ever open. Whoa, that is a lot of storage. Okay, this is going to be very, very useful. We'll have to get... Um, a plow and plow this up and uh re-coat the land because these bushes are gonna get annoying um but guys this is what i'm gonna stop here uh, i'll probably try and place a few more things over here next video um we still got a nice little strip of land here that we can place uh maybe a mechanic shop or something like that um i might i don't know i might relocate the farmhouse let me know what you guys think of the comment section below do you guys think i should relocate the farmhouse or leave it here i do like it here don't be wrong um i might relocate this easy shed or get rid of it or just knock it down I don't know. Leave a comment down below with me, guys. Let me know what you want me to do. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm probably going to get through uh, cutting some grass and, and turning it into hay and everything just for our horses. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on what the things I said. Uh, subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. We still, we're still, we uh, still, I think, almost at 60,000 uh, at the point of making this video. So that's super exciting. Goal is 100,000 in a couple months. I don't know how long it'll take, everybody. Uh, but maybe 100,000 eventually. Uh, but I'll see all of you in the next Farming Simulator video.